shoved an airfield and a missed opportunity. Now, I'm here at an airfield. But that evening, I got the dreaded phone call. Well, when I checked in at reception, I was told I could book a flight for the following day in a plane very, very similar to the one that I learnt in. That's the one you can see on the screen now. The Piper Warrior PA-28. And I did my first solo, and that's me getting out of the plane after my first solo, which took place at the end of my 10th hour of training. And I was a bit proud of that. And for it I got a certificate. That one you can see now. And it was that first solo, anybody who's done it will tell you, it takes 10 minutes to do the circuit. And in those 10 minutes you go through every emotion you can possibly imagine. From anticipation, to trepidation, to the thrill of opening the throttle. And then when you leave the ground you think to yourself, Am I doing the right thing here? And then there's constant, deep, deep concentration to keep the speed bike while you're climbing. And then you turn and you turn again onto uh, downwind and you can relax. It's all going beautifully. The plane's trimmed and uh, you've got a little way to fly before you have to start doing things again. And that's excitement. Just, it, it's a beautiful feeling. And then you turn onto uh, the base leg and you start your descent and you begin to wonder. And then you turn onto finals. <laughs> it really, really frightens you. And I did it on a Saturday morning when the airfield was busy and they were using the short runway. And in fact, I didn't think he was going to let me do it that day. But when he got out the aeroplane, he just said, right, off you go. Bye bye. <laughs> that was it. And then when you land and turn off the runway, the sense of relief, excitement, it's, I, I can't explain it properly because uh, it's an, an emotion that is mixed with uh, all sorts of things and it's, well, it's wonderful. But that evening I got the dreaded phone call. Apparently on Monday I'd been in contact with somebody who had tested positive for Covid. So I didn't think it was very fair to uh, get in a small aeroplane with somebody else. Um, I wasn't showing any symptoms myself but you know, it takes a few days for them to show sometimes. So I had to leave it at that. And when I got back to the house in South Wales, I tested myself and I was negative. And I have no symptoms, nothing. And I was clear. So I could have taken the flight, but I wasn't going to take the chance. So instead, I just hung about watched a bit of the action with envy before returning back to the ranch in South Wales. I don't think that wants a start. But he got off, fiddled about with the engine a bit and then got back on and it started. By the way, he's shouting, clear the prop, clear the prop, which you're supposed to do. That hang glider works on a weight shift principle, and it's not for me at all. And I once met the Swedish airline pilot, he flew jumbo jets, he was the captain, and he'd come across to Wales to learn to fly hang gliders, and he got a broken leg <laughs> because he was doing a stall test and he reacted in the same way that you would do in a large aeroplane, a normal aeroplane. He pushed forward. And that's the last thing you do on the hang glider. 
he's supposed to pull back and he didn't, he pushed forward, really stalled and broke his leg. His engine kept going and he did a nice circuit. Well I was up very early but as the morning progressed so did the amount of uh, activity. I watched that one come in and uh, to get into his parking place he put it in reverse thrust and reversed there. This little one coming in now is an Icarus and uh, it classed as a microlite. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And I took it up for a test flight a few years ago, but um, I couldn't uh, get together with it properly. The joystick is in between the two seats, uh, a low down obviously, and the flap lever is above your head. And there's me standing beside it ready to go and then I'm in it and we're off. Cool. <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. But it flies nicely, no, I must admit, a nice little aeroplane. And that twin engine turbo pop over there is a King Air 200 uh, available for charter. A little while ago two elderly people walked out there, the crew dragging their baggage with them. And they got in and flew off to somewhere nice like that. Healthy people, that's how the other half live. circuits coming in, hovering and then flying off again. That was interesting to watch. Yeah, he also did a, a gentle touchdown before taking off again. Well, this little dog yapping in the background is not one of ours. They're both up in Scotland with Mandy. So somebody else has got a little dog around here. Well, she had to be satisfied with the memories, head back to Wales and take a mug of tea down to the tea house. Sit and enjoy the view. And have the feeling of my disappointment soothed by the sound of running water. I have no idea where or when I shall travel again, 
because I'm waiting for a scan appointment. But thanks for watching. Bye bye.